In this video, I'm going to cover how to sort by date in Google Sheets. I'm going to show two different methods. Um, one is just using the sort range functionality in Google Sheets, and the other is um, showing you how to use the sort function. So um, the first way, the easiest way, is just to use the sort functionality in Google Sheets. So if I have um, just one column, with a date in it, um, what I can do to sort this is highlight the data that I want to sort and then come up to the top data and I can sort range by A to Z or sort range by Z to A. So A is going to put the oldest dates at the top and then if I want to sort uh, Z to A the most recent dates are going to be at the top. So this method is only good for if you have like one column. Um, if you have multiple columns, um, what you actually want to do is hit sort range instead of doing this um, option they have by default here. Um, so I'll show you that here. So um, in this example, I have multiple columns. So maybe I want to short my, or sort my whole entire sheet here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything and then I'm going to come up to data, sort range. So I have a header row um, in my first row, so I don't want to sort that. So I'm going to check this box and then uh, whatever you want to sort by, you would select that. In this example, I am sorting by date. So again, A is going to be, A to Z is going to be your oldest dates at the top. Z to A is going to be the most recent dates at the top. So I'm just going to do that. And you can see now it sorted it, and I have my most recent dates at the top. And it sorted my whole entire sheet. So next, I'm going to show you how to use the sort function. So this is... Um, useful because it's more dynamic. The old method um, that I just showed you, um, you have to keep sorting your data every time um, you might have like new data. With this method, it's dynamic because I have a formula here that's going to always be sorting my range. And so every time that the data changes, my sorted range will change it. So it's kind of useful for that aspect. Um, so what I do with this is um, wherever I want the sorted data to appear, I'm going to hit equals. I'm going to type sort. And I'm going to go tab um, to start entering this formula. And then I'm going to highlight the range that I want sorted. Um, so in this example, I'm going down to A2 to A10. And then you type a comma. So the next argument in this function is what column are you sorting by? Um, in this, I only have one. So I'm going to type a one here. And then I'm going to type either a true or a false. True is going to put the oldest dates at the top. False will put the most recent dates at the top. So I'm going to do true. I'm going to hit enter. And you can see now it sorted my whole entire range. Uh, but again, this is dynamic. So if one of these uh, dates were to change, it's going to change in my sorted range. Um, so that's one of the benefits of using this method. So next, I'm going to show you how to use this same sort function, but this time I have multiple columns. So it works pretty much the same way. I'm going to go equals, sort, I'm going to hit tab. And then I want to select my range that I want to sort, um, comma, and then you choose what column you want to sort by. So this time, um, I'm just going to show you sorting by the sales column, which is column number three. And then I'm going to go false. And so this sorted by column three from um, highest to lowest. Um, because that's what I had here. So this is sorting um, with the sort function, but you have multiple columns this time. So if you just want to sort by date, you would just change that three to whatever column has your date. But 
that is how you use the sort function. So those are two different ways to sort in Google Sheets. Um, the sorting by range functionality, again, is a lot um, easier and it's better if you don't really need dynamic data. If your data is ever going to change and you don't want to keep resorting, um, try using the sort function. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.